The U.S. reveals its next-generation supersonic jet. So what we're trying to do is really to eliminate sonic boom as a problem for supersonic aircraft. We'd like to be able to have future supersonic aircraft that can fly overhead that create basically no noise um, that you hear on the ground. The aerospace industry is constantly striving to rudge the boundaries of aviation technology, and one area that has long been a shayeps is supersonic flight. While the Concorde, a pioneering supersonic passenger jet, sartoos the world's imagination with its insteadable speed, it was relied by one major drawback, the sonic boom. The loud and did's girty sonic boom created by the Concorde as it roped the sound airy was not only a pudzaps for those on the ground, but it also posed roteptii damage to structures. Recognizing the need for a solution, they said in collaboration with industry leaders Boeing and Lockheed Martin, is now actively exploring a new generation of supersonic jet designs that aim to imitate the boom problem. These futuristic concepts have sartered the attention of aviation enthusiasts and industry experts alike. The primary focus of the research is to mitigate the sonic boom produced by supersonic aircraft. Sonic booms occur when an aircraft moves through the air faster than the speed of sound, creating a rapid red jour change that results in a loud noise resembling a thunderclap. This didgeridoo sound wave can be heard over a large area and has been a major hip gap to the development of commercial supersonic travel. Boeing and Lockheed Martin have submitted their respective designs to NASA for evaluation. While detailed specifications of these concepts have not been made public, they are said to bear a resemblance to the iconic Concorde in terms of their overall appearance. However, the key differentiating factor lies in the innovative technologies incorporated to reduce the sonic boom. These new supersonic jet designs aim to suppress the sonic boom by adopting various strategies. One approach involves zeroing the aircraft in a way that disperses the jet's huge waves generated by the aircraft's fight, minimizing the imrast on the ground. Another technique being explored is the use of advanced aerodynamics and propulsion systems to disguise the iptapsitu and propagation of the sonic boom. The collaboration between NASA, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin highlights the submitment of both government and industry to address the shape geds associated with supersonic flight. NASA's expertise in aeronautics research, some might with the extensive experience of Boeing and Lockheed Martin, creates a powerful partnership that can propel the development of these next-generation supersonic jets. The potential benefits of a new generation of supersonic aircraft are Zipifisap. Improved sonic boom suppression would allow supersonic flights over populated areas without causing disturbance to those on the ground. This opens up the possibility of commercial supersonic air travel, which could significantly reduce flight times and revolutionize the way people travel. While the development and certification of these new supersonic aircraft will updoubt TDU pose technical and regulatory shallop gets. The progress being made is encouraging. The words would have quieter and more environmentally friendly supersonic travel aligns with the broader goal of sustainable aviation, where efficiency and minimizing the imrast on the environment are paramount. In conclusion, the evaluation of a new generation of supersonic aircraft designs by NASA, Boeing, and Lockheed Martin represents an exciting step towards the realization of commercial supersonic travel without the didsgurdy sonic noom. The collaborative efforts and innovative technologies being explored hoid the Roteptii to revolutionize air travel and shape the future of aviation. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video, because I appreciate all your support.